Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of P-Man Reviews. Today we have the Combiner Wars Unite Warriors variant of Breakdown. Uh, Breakdown is part of the Stunticons and we'll go through these over the next few episodes before ending up with Menasaur. So in terms of Breakdown, the Unite Warriors variant is very similar to the normal release. Uh, the colour scheme is a little bit more re representative, I guess, of the G1 releases. Uh, otherwise, certainly in the case of Breakdown, they are the same. Um, as you can see, Breakdown transforms into an updated version of the Lamborghini, which you always transformed to before. It's quite a big car, um, certainly significantly bigger than the original release was. Now, he does, kind of in an homage again to the original, he has places for his weapons to store. So the others had big guns that came out the back, whereas he has the guns here. Obviously, this is part of uh, Menasaur's feet, so it's... It kind of is the fairly unconvincing weapons, and when we come to Menasaur, we'll, we'll look at particularly the feet, I think, don't really work on him, but we'll come to that later. Because he's got quite a nice, uh, quite a nice sword as well, a sword slash gun. Now this mould has since been used numerous times to create other, other robots, uh, as has that for, for Wild Rider as well. So you will see the actual mould several times, which, which is okay, I guess, it's... It, I kind of understand why they've done it, but equally you're kind of thinking, come on guys, you can make new moulds now. It's not the 80s. But equally, I kind of understand the need for keeping costs down. In terms of the actual car, it looks really good and very streamlined, quite, you know, quite intimidating. Very, very big chunky wheels. Um, perhaps a little bit plasticky, the whole toy. It's not, it doesn't reek of quality. It reeks of a little bit of, of cheapness, but the actual design looks very good. Transforming the Stunticons is surprisingly simple. Um, I guess this is in keeping with the reasonable, I guess, mass-produced nature of some of the newer Combiner Wars models. But, as I say, it, it works, so we'll just, we'll just go ahead with that. Okay, so what you want to do to begin with is start off by taking the, transforming the legs. It's got one of those annoying transformations where you have to get the legs absolutely perfect to make them go back in. Um, I really do hate those, hate the legs. It's, it's, it's easy once you found out how, but there's a pain trying to get that way. Anyway, they just pull apart and pull down for making the robot, um, which is quite simple for that. Feet pop down, uh, and then the rear spoiler pop down to make the end of the feet. Okay, relatively simple thus far. Now, the head does pop out under here. Now, you don't want to flip this all the way back because then you'll end up with him in Menasaur mode, which we don't need. So, we'll start off just by, first of all, you do need to flip the hood back. And then what you kind of need to do is disconnect the middle part here. So this bit goes down and this bit will become his head. We won't pop it in just yet because I want to get the arms out of the way first. So, these lift up like so. The arm will then come down like that. Same deal here, so as you can see it's actually half, bottom half of the door. And then this needs to slot, rotate down. So you have this part which was up there on that side, now down there on that side. Same thing, it gets it out of the way so that this, to the head, chest, head and chest plate can sit down without getting in the way. Now there's a tab sticking up there and there's a hole there, so guess where that's going? Just like that, and then that will. Uh, no, it doesn't. Well, is it? I'm gonna say no. It doesn't. It doesn't go like that. It does look like that when it's in um, car mode. So actually, we guessed wrong. Oh well, never mind. Um, however, there are two little holes there, and there's two tabs in the chest there. So it's it's just making sure you have the right one at the right time. There we are. Okay, that will then sit back like that, and that's the head, which sticks out quite a lot. Looks a little bit silly, but. Never mind. Okay. And um, with are there. Like I say these actually do need to go up. Now you've got these down, they now need to go back up because otherwise see it fills in the hole there, but you can't put them up while you're putting this in, so it's a little bit of fiddliness. Okay, there we are, that is Combiner Wars breakdown. Um he has the normal full articulation you would expect of a modern day transformer. Uh, the head moves. You've got somewhat chunky legs, it has to be said, with the big gaps there as well. But he does have a knee and he does move around. He's a bit of um, 
probably one of the more articulate, one of the, the larger um, of the um, stunter cars, just by virtue of the fact that the legs pull down, a lot of them don't have that. Now you can hold his gun as a gun, like so. That said, it does look a bit more effective as a sword, just because this is so prominent. Um, so he can hold it as a sword, and he does have quite good move with it. He also has this huge, fairly in unrealistic looking gun, because the details on the bottom, when you're at the front, you can clearly see the hand. So he, he can quite happily hold it. Um, there we are, so pretty good. In terms of size-wise, he's, he's shorter than the G1. Darkwing there, but he's on a comparable sort of height, so that feels all right. And you compare him against someone like Red Alert, um, and again, he's bigger than Red Alert, but it's not ludicrous proportions. So he does set very well. And he's he's much bigger than the original Stunticon um, of Breakdown, the G1 release. That said, what what is quite noticeable is Breakdown again was the taller of the ones because of the way his legs flipped out, and that kind of is similar thing there. So it it does kind of. Again, it, it harks back to that original release as well. Okay, um, we'll move on to the other Stunticons and then we'll come back later on and show you how this guy combines to form Menasaur. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.